Hello everyone and welcome to DevSkiller's user interface demo. We'll start by going over the layout. The first thing you will notice upon logging into the platform is the highly functional dashboard and a neat candidates homepage. It is worth getting well acquainted with the page since you will probably be spending a lot of time here. On it, you have a great overview of the candidates, all the tests taken by them and their respective status and score. With Quick View, you can see the candidate's skills and you can easily click on more skills to see more, as well as enter the individual profiles of candidates. You can filter the candidates through the panel on the left-hand side by name, email or token, invitation date, tests, tags you assign to them, the score, and respective users who sent out the invitations. Above the Invite Candidates button, we decided to introduce the Candidate Funnel for a quick overview of the total number of candidates and the number of candidates at every stage. The funnel is interactive and can therefore be used as the primary filter. We took great care to make the layout clean and simple. At the very top, you can select between tabs to toggle between candidates and tests, the two most important components of the platform. To the right, you have access to the tabs Settings and Profile. Settings cover your company's important information, while the Profile button lets you customize your own presence on the platform and get support. Next, we'll click on Tests. Here, you can view the test that you have previously selected and have the option to create a new test. You can invite candidates through this panel for each test that you have available, but we'll talk more about inviting candidates later. For now, we'll stick to the tests. The test panel is divided into your tests, predefined tests, and the tasks library. The first step in the process of screening developers is creating the test suitable for the technologies you want to test. By clicking the Create New Test button, you will be prompted to select one of three options. You can choose a predefined test use the skills wizard and create a test from scratch. For the purposes of this demo, I will choose a predefined test by clicking the Browse Test Catalog button. You can preview every test by clicking the Show Test Preview option in the test window and see what the entire test looks like. We'll just click on Use this test, after which we'll be taken back to the Yours Test section. On this page, you can click on each test for more options. There, you will have the basic overview with a summary of candidates connected to the test and have the option to invite more. You can also click on Test Editor on the right-hand side or on the panel above to change the test. You also have the option to change the test settings. You can edit the test name and adjust the duration of the test. Here, you can enable the option to ask candidates for their expected salary and notice period which you will be able to plot on the graph together with the candidate's results for a comprehensive view and easy comparison with other candidates. The last option allows you to toggle code download for programming tasks on and off. What this means is that in case you decide to disable code download, your candidate will be limited to our browser-based IDE, or Integrated Development Environment. Our default settings allow programmers to use whatever IDE they prefer. We'll adjust the time for this test and click Save Settings. At this stage, the next step of the process is inviting a candidate. To invite a candidate, simply click on the Invite Candidate button. The test for which you are inviting candidates will be pre-selected in the top bar. However, you can change that by clicking on the bar and selecting Other Tests from the drop-down menu. Below the bar, you can type in the emails of candidates you want to invite. You can invite a single candidate or invite candidates in bulk by using the comma to separate their email addresses. Below are listed the accepted formats of the email addresses. You can adjust the invitation validity under the Invitation Settings section and change the validity period from the 7-day default to a 1-31-day to 31 day period. You can add tags, which can help you sort and filter at a later stage. You can also write an additional message for the candidates, or deselect that option. Once you are ready, click Invite Candidate. 